Welcome to our English short and easy learning class. Today's lesson is going to be stroke s and z. We studied the stroke s and z with a consonant and also using a small circle. And we'll see in detail where this stroke s and z has to be used. Whenever there is an initial or a final oval sound. So whenever there is an initial or final oval sound, there must be a stroke consonant in order to place the oval sign. So when there is a oval sign, for the S, then we have to write the stroke in order to place the oval. Therefore, S must be written when a oval precedes initially or follows final S or Z. So, when the oval is at the beginning or initially, then S and also a oval follows and also the oval follows final S R Z. We have some of the words to understand this concept. A S A S where we have a oval preceding S. So we have to write this stroke in order to place the oval. Again here the oval follows the sound of S. So, stroke S is required to place this oval. Again, Z, O's and ZU. So, here it is preceding and following where a stroke is required to place a oval. ASP, SAP. So, here a oval precedes S. So, we have to write the stroke here. The oval comes after the sound of S. So, we can write circle S. Sap. Ask. Sack. Race. Race. To place this oval, we have to write stroke S. There is no oval, so we can write circle S. Again, busy. So, to place this oval, we are writing Z. And here, there is no oval after Z. The sound of Z. So, we can write B's. So, in this way, we can use stroke S and Z. Also, where the stroke S is written initially in the root word, it should be retained in compounds. Suppose we start writing a stroke consonant initially and to retain the stroke, we have to write retain this in the compound words also, in compounds and in derivatives formed by the prefixes. We can note down this in the following words. Sa, so stroke is followed by a oval. Now, sa bench, so initially we have drawn this to maintain this root word. We are using the same stroke in a compound words. Again, assailed, unassailed, so there is a prefix here. So, for this prefix, we are, are we maintaining the same words, same letters. Is disease. So in this way, stroke S has to be written. And also, stroke S to be written where a triphone immediately follows initial S. So whenever there is a triphone, immediately after the sound of S, then we have to write stroke as science. Sewer. 
So there is a trifon immediately after the sound of S. So we have to write stroke S consonant. Then initial S is immediately followed by a oval and another S R Z. So again when there is an initial S is followed by a oval and another S R Z C's. So here the stroke is then a oval comes. So we have to write a stroke in order to place this oval. And again sasar. So S and followed by another S. So we have to write stroke S. This way we can use stroke S. Also in final syllable where S is immediately preceded by a diphthong. So, in the final stroke where S is preceded by a diphthong, we have to use stroke S. So, cyanus. So, here there is a diphthong before S. So, we have to use stroke S consonant. Again, a triphone. So, tortures, jaw S. So, before S, there is a triphone. So, for this, we have to use stroke S and we cannot use circle S. And today's grammar logs are M above the line, me on the line, him. So, M circle S above myself on the line, himself. SP on the line special especially and if it is written through the line speak. SB on the line subject or subjected. SV on the line is several. So hope you understood the consonant the stroke S to be written in this class and keep practicing I'll see you in my next video with a new lesson thank you for watching please subscribe